Welcome guys. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the Lakers. Right now what you're hearing is uh Sacramento forcing a fucking six game against the Golden State Warriors, man. Seriously. But I'll tell you what though. I'll tell you what. I mean, to be honest, the Golden State Warriors, yeah, they, they've been really lucky. That's, that's the, they've been really lucky. Because uh, I just think that the... I, I, I think that Sacramento's just got the measure of them this time around. They lost this game. Believe this shit. Anyway, it is what it is. I don't know why they can see the game. They see the game like that, bro. Alright. So anyway, man. I got some stuff lined up anyway. I got some stuff lined up. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna go on Twitter. We got that right there. That's the old one. And then, of course, we got this one. Right? We're gonna, gonna put this on. Let's see what's happening. Um, Twitter, let's go. Let's go. Let's go find the Lakers. Let's go find the Lakers, man. Um, Yep, that's got the Lakers as well. So, but we're gonna go game, game seven. Is that game seven trending? I think. It, see, it says uh, Lakers are in full troll mode. They're trolling. Loud chant from the Lakers locker room. Whoop that trick. Whoop that trick. That's after they beat. What Devin Ham have to say? Let's turn this up a little. Holy oh, shit! One second, y'all. What the messages? Why the fuck have good messages, man? Yeah, here we are. Chuck that first half run that he had with the two-handed reverse on the break. Can you just put some context to how remarkable that is? It's unreal, man. I'm telling you, man, it's unreal. Like, you know, Kobe was not just short of amazing. You know, Giannis, big time. They like to him to sustain that all these years. Again, that's some big shit teach. They talk about how he approaches the game and he playing the game the right way on both sides of the ball, never cheating the game. Well, in that never cheating the game section, they need to talk about more so for these young kids and young athletes in general, how he takes care of his body. Everything is regimented, his routine, his own point, not just during the season, but year round. That's the only way he's able to do what you see him doing. And uh, again, it's not just sort of amazing, but when you're around him every day, you see how he prepares. It doesn't surprise me. All right, let's turn that back up. To be honest, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really want to watch. Uh, I don't want to watch Lakers versus. Sorry, I don't want to watch Sacramento beat fucking Golden State Warriors. That's fucked up, bro. That's fucked up, man. But anyway, um, let me see. They haven't put the Lakers game up yet, but I think I can find it. I think I can find it somewhere. I'm sure I can find it, bro. Nah, it's not up here, man. That's all we got right now. This is from, oh, this is like uh, Milwaukee beating. Sorry, Milwaukee losing to Miami. You know, anyway, what I really want to talk about here, right? You know what I'm saying? What I'm really going to talk about is how LeBron James critics are feeling right now. You know what I mean? I mean, I know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like, it's sort of like one game, you understand me? But well, it's one 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 series in the playoffs and stuff. But to be honest, there was a lot of them that were predicting or hoping. Let's say what this guy has to say. Game plan and to give us some cushion. Our second group came in and did their thing, and we came back out and finished it. 
see it that way but that's better anyway so nobody fucking fucks on my videos anyway man here's my thing right what are lakers what are the lakers critics particularly the ones who claim to love the lakers right but fucking hate lebron james what they're gonna say now i bet they're gonna say what are you it took too long to do god damn listen man this is this is where it's at bro this is where it's at man you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So, alright. This is where it's at, bro. I'm dancing. So, uh, there you go. One second, this fucking child has got way too many ads. I'm gonna have to fucking edit all this shit out. This video is going to suffer from editing. Here's the thing, right? A lot of people were predicting, right? A lot of people were predicting, or were hoping, let's just put it that way. We're hoping that the case would be like that um, Russell Westbrook going over to the Clippers was going to advance and Lakers were not going to. So what? Did, so where are those people who were, say, who were claiming like, oh yeah, <laughs> LeBron did Russell Westbrook bad. You know what I mean? Ross Webber can carry the team by himself without Kwawi. Leonard, uh, you know what I mean? Without Kwawi Leonard. No, no, oh, Kwawi Leonard, oh, yeah, blah, blah. Listen, Russell Westbrook gave some badass turnovers in that last game they had. It was fucking embarrassing. Nobody wants to talk about it because it is what it is. Daniel Russell played really well, but they said that he <laughs> was inspired because um, uh, Kyrie was in attendance. You know what I'm saying? What's this? Next stop, Western Conference. 125, 185. Listen, we I should use the other. You know what I mean? All right, this is how we got. This is a game. So anyway, man. I think I wasted quite a bit of time. I, I, this, this video ain't gonna be that good. Um, let me see what else we got. On the other. This is the other iPad. I've seen all that. I've seen all that. I've seen all that. It's the same shit, isn't it? The same shit. Though. Um, <laughs> Memphis. <laughs> Musty, dusty Memphis. I'm glad they didn't make it. God, they beat the shit out of them, though. 85, 125 to 85. What the fuck happened there? That was, re that's, re that's a whooping. That's a whooping, bruv. 125 to 85. You know what I mean? What was, what was the name of that dude? You know that dude? There's a dude on YouTube, right? That motherfucker. He looked like LeBron James if LeBron James was broke. If LeBron James was broke and on YouTube, all right, had no money, used to be a fat, dusty, fucking basketball fan from the 90s and shit, and worshiped some other dude on YouTube, 
You know what I'm saying? The, the, the talks with a gruff voice. You know what I'm saying? He looked like that's. He, he looked like LeBron if LeBron was fucking busted, like a busted LeBron James, like LeBron James fucking. Uh, how can I how can I put it? LeBron James' brother didn't make it. You know, one of them brothers that looked like a fucking star, but just you know, just I didn't have any star quality. And shit, just looked like fucking, like like you know, like um, to the, for example, like just for example, you know, like um, Adrian Brown has got a twin brother, yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you see a twin brother, you know that this, this nigga won't go make it. You see, you see brothers like that. You understand know me? You know what I'm saying? So there's a dude on YouTube, right? He hate LeBron with a passion, man. You, you, you got me be like you. Is that? And then I noticed something. I noticed the motherfucker looked like LeBron. It looked like LeBron if LeBron was broke as fuck. If LeBron had no fucking money. If LeBron was a fucking shit. If LeBron was shit. If LeBron was absolute fucking shit and been on YouTube for years just talking about basketball. Le- probably LeBron would look like that. Probably there's a good chance LeBron would look a little bit better. Oh, my boy's in attendance. Jack Nicholson. Anyway, yeah, uh, yeah. So anyway, man. What y'all gonna say? All of you who wanted who were wishing, who were hoping, who were praying that Russell Westbrook with the Clippers was gonna go, was gonna advance, you know what I'm saying? I hear people say, yeah, Phoenix is soft and shit like that. You know what I'm saying, Phoenix soft, man. I think the Clippers are gonna take it. Clippers ain't gonna take shit. I just, I knew, to be honest with you, but I wasn't qualified to actually say, say something about it. But I knew, I knew the Clippers weren't gonna advance, man. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, Lakers is six to play us, man. That's what y'all got to deal with. Y'all need to deal with that, man. The Bucks got fucking cut. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. The Bucks lost to Miami. Fucking hell. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that at all, man. I wasn't expecting the Bucks to lose to Miami, but you know, it is what it is. It's all love, you know what I mean? And then Yannis saying, like, there's no losing in sports. Get the fuck out of here, Yannis. Yannis, stop that, bro. You know there's losing in sports. There's no losing in sports, my ass. You know what I mean? This is what losing is like, eliminated. You know what I mean? You know? And they, and they put your face on it too. You know what I'm saying? Yamarant, they put his face on it. It was eliminated. Can you imagine the Lakers? I mean, it could still happen to the Lakers anyway. Even the, Lake, even the Lakers go for <laughs> they can't. I'm going to use this. You know what I'm saying? The infamous pose by Shannon Sharp when they put LeBron James on it. You know what I'm saying? That infamous pose. Uh, there you go. There you go. Anyway, advancing. I don't, I don't, you know, all of you fucking haters, man. Motherfucker, oh yeah, LeBron James don't want no parts of instead of Bruce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look at that shit. Look at that. They could have no ball. I mean, they beat the fuck out of the fucking business. But then again, I kind of knew they would. And to be honest, a lot of people knew they would anyway. Because the business is just a bunch of fucking, you know, they might end up being sort of like Alan Iverson. Anyway, that's it, man. That's the end of the game. Look, they have a ball. Look at it. Look at that shit. I know you can't see it probably, but that's just the way it's got to be, bro. Anyway, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, let me go back to my coffee just in case, man. We get one of those silly ads and shit. So, yeah. That's the way it is, man. The Lakers go forward. The Lakers go forward. And all of you guys who didn't want the Lakers to advance, I'm not saying you gotta eat crow. What, what crow got to do with it? But let's be honest here. You're gonna change your tune a little bit because a lot of you are fucking. A lot of you are a bunch of fucking weirdos. You understand me? A lot of you are a bunch of fucking weirdos. All you do, all you're very good at is hating and shit. That's what you live off while trying to pretend like it's for a greater course and shit. Let's watch that again. They have gone to this play. This time is sort of semi transition. You talked about his rim runs. Let's watch that again. Look, I had someone tell me I fell off. Oh, I needed that. Uh, that Drake had. <laughs> That's great. Anyway, so y'all. Like three pointer by Russell. It's good. D'Angelo Russell has 25. Let's see that again. D'Lo. All right. What else we get? 
That's the one we want to watch before. What's this one? Austin Reeves. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. There you go. What else we got? Jim Street. Okay, anyway, that's enough. I, that's not, I really. What, what did Anthony Davis say to Jamaran? I don't know what he said to him, whatever the fuck he said to him. Can't be like, yeah, we'd like you over at the Lakers and shit. Well, actually, that would be a good thing. Tonight, 40 point blowout marked the largest series clinching win by LeBron James team in his career. Previously, at the five point win over the Raptors in 2018 Eastern Conference semifinals. The man's team. <laughs> oh, poor, poor, poor Dylan Brook. You know what I mean? To be honest with you, I can't hate on the dudes in the NBA, you know, before people start calling him ass and trash and all that type of stuff. He's in the NBA, you know. I'm saying, so it is what it is. But, uh. Oh, shit. That's a good one. But, uh, yeah, that's just the way it goes, man. I'm just more happy. Like, listen, I'm just more happy because a lot of people didn't think they were going to make the playoffs. They made the playoffs, and now they've actually won the fair. They won against Memphis. But I suppose, to be honest with you, a lot of people did predict that they would beat Memphis because Memphis, going into this series with Jamaran getting, you know, Jamaran with the gun thing and then getting injured and all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I, I just never liked Memphis anyway to keep it a buck with you. I don't even like Jamaran, to be honest with you. I think Jamaran is just a problem waiting to happen. Jamaran's a bit like Adrian Broner. Rather, I should say. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. There's something about that dude that just really I don't like. Anyway, Rob Linka cooked. <laughs> He's the, the coach of uh, Memphis, right? That's a Memphis coach. He's cooked. So yeah, Rob Linka cooked. Um, anyway, um, yeah. There you go. Yo, um, that's it, basically. Not that much to talk about. All you like, all you LeBron haters. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know what y'all gonna do. You are gonna find a way. You gonna find a way to spin it. You gonna say you was just a role player. You know what I'm saying? They carried you, man. Yeah, you gonna find a way to spin it. You know what I'm saying? Cause everything, everything's been like. Uh, yeah, this is like uh, about the third quarter or something like that. It was 167. I saw that and I thought, oh shit. They got complete domination. This one, they, they call it complete domination. They dominated them. Why the fuck did they, why did business collapse like that? That's bad though. That's bad though to keep it a buck with you. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? That's not good, man. I don't, I don't, I don't condone that. <laughs> I don't condone them going out like that. But fuck them too. You know what I'm saying? I don't really like them. Oh yeah, the crown. Yeah, let's, let's just put this. Oh, you hate his ass, hating ass bastards. Look at that. Put the crown on his head. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I'm a LeBron James fan. I like the Lakers only because of LeBron. But if you feel it, you feel some kind of way about it. That's up to you. That's on you. I don't give a fuck. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One more game. One more game for that dirty nigga who look like LeBron but will never be LeBron and never achieve anything. There you go. Well done, bro. All right, then. I will now set my good coffee. Yeah, stop that. Stop that. Quiet. All right? All right. So, see you guys later, yo. Take care. I got a lot of work to do today. I'll be out all day and tomorrow you know what I'm saying so congratulations to the Lakers I don't have no commiserations for the fucking Grizzlies fuck them they need to put that get their shit together and you know start relying on some fucking juvenile and uh, that's about it now I have to edit this properly there's James off the Iverson touch stolen by Ja over Vanderbilt at the other end the steal the bucket and the Grizzlies lead 3 0. Vanderbilt, one more to Reeves for three. Timeout, Memphis.
creates an and one. The reach, the push, the basket, the foul. Go to the line, LeBron, and see if you can complete this three-point opportunity. D'Angelo a little bit frustrated. Don't necessarily love that he showed it, but he knows he's feeling good offensively. She's a little... Job blocked by Davis. Oh, he caught it and took his cornbread. What a play. James the trailer. Got it. Anthony Davis took it right out of... Anthony Davis simply isn't having it. This is the spectacular block where he just takes it right from the shooting pocket and goes the other direction. Now Jaron Jackson has inside position. Mr. Davis says, not in my house.